It's been long since I talked about music, hasn't it? I haven't run out of things to talk about, on the contrary, my musical knowledge database is, is overflowing. I discover music at a rate faster than I can even listen to them, and I thought it would be a good time to make another knowledge deposit into the internet. Today we're talking about the city pop genre of music. It originates from Japan during the 1970s and continued to increase in popularity towards the 80s. The genre is basically Japanese people trying out and drawing inspiration from western pop and soft rock music. They did the same thing with jazz, most famously by Ryo Fukui, a Japanese jazz pianist. I even talked about this briefly in my jazz video. And again, they did a damn good job of recreating western music with their own style. The city pop movement was pioneered by artists such as Haruomi Hosono and Tatsuru Yamashita. The western influence is not exactly hidden, in fact it is quite obvious even. You can see that this is so from the album covers, and also from the fact that some songs are purely sung with the English language. Funnily, as city pop's popularity began to increase, other countries took notice and started doing the same. Indonesia being one of the most prominent. Indonesian city pop is known locally as pop creative. As you can imagine, this means creative pop. Not too hard to decipher, eh? And I have to say, Indonesia did a good job as well. Look at some of this shit. For a more jazzy take, there is also works by Jopi Lato. Although this genre died off after the 80s, it has recently gained a resurgence. This is due in part to Maria Takeuchi's Plastic Love. This song became so popular on YouTube, most likely by chance via the algorithm, that the re-upload has over 50 million views. I say re-upload because the original 2017 upload was struck down because of copyright shenanigans. But that's a whole different can of worms. For a cool video covering this topic, check out the one made by Justin Wang. Speaking of copyright issues, Japanese companies are quite notorious for their strict copyright policy. I have noticed, personally, that most of the city pop songs on YouTube are now just gone because of copyright, and you can't get them easily on Spotify and other streaming platforms either. So really, if you're interested, now is the best time to listen to and download some city pop before it quite literally disappears from the face of the earth, okay? We skid off topic, didn't we? So uh, Plastic Love, that's where we were. The song became immensely popular and heard predominantly by western ears. I mean, good luck finding a Japanese person in the comments section. They seem to be largely unaware of this popularity boom, apparently. <laughs> The song has since become an icon, a face for city pop. It is also the subject of a bunch of memes, edits, and remixes. The popularity, however, isn't contained solely within this one song. In fact, it has encouraged a bunch of people, myself included, to explore the genre around a bit more. This song very much served as a bridge connecting the western world to the city pop genre. Through this influx of a new audience, other songs like Junko Ohashi's Telephone Number, Kingo Hamada's Dolphin in Town, and etc. have garnered similar attention. Anyways, city pop is a super cool genre to get into and like I said, now is the best time to try. Until next time.
Hey, it's me again. I know, video is over, but there's an announcement I want to make, and that is I'm on this website called OnP4. It's basically Twitter, but not Twitter. <laughs> um, so, you might be asking why I don't just use Twitter like a normal person. I know I, I make this hard for you because you have to go onto a completely different website for this. Like, I'm, I'm fine with people not actively looking at it uh so let me just show you the website uh it's I'm, I'm basically just gonna be using this as a place to dump all of the images that i have gathered from just wandering around like i know it's not much i have three on here right now but i intend to add more obviously so this is when i went out on a really foggy day um i like this one in particular like look at this just looks out into the distance and it's also everything is perfect here there's absolutely no one it adds to that eerie atmosphere the entire sky is just white just pure white mist it's yeah i'm, I'm i like it i am proud of this one so yeah, I'll be posting a bunch more images here, maybe some other stuff as well. So if that interests you, then the link to this will be down in the description below. It's also a good way to check if I'm still alive. If I haven't uploaded in a long time, you could just check this website and see, oh, Wilson made a post three days ago, so he must still be alive. And he's apparently out on this really foggy place okay cool good on him so you know stuff like that just to see how i am what i'm up to oh i should also mention that you can comment on this so oh oops so you can say hi to me you can interact with me i guess if you if you really want to y you can um yeah and apart from that, I also have, uh, so you can, I, I can separate out my posts, so this is just stuff, and this is chess. So these are just a bunch of my games, which I found to be interesting. Um, let's just open one, for example. I use a different website for this. Um, so yeah, this is just a snippet from my game, and you can see some commentary as well. So I write down my thought process i write down my move why it's bad why there exists another move what happens if i play that move instead of this one stuff like that i just collect interesting games and annotate it uh, so i can just read it up again and refresh myself on the ideas and the tactical patterns and if you're really into chess then I'm, I, I know I'm self-promoting here, but I, th I really think this is a good way to learn because it's really short. So it'll just take like about five minutes or so to run through all the moves and just absorb all the information and knowledge. You'll like probably learn a new tactical pattern, a new idea, and you can easily apply it to your own games. So I, I would recommend it. Yes me recommending my own product yes yes i know i know um okay that that's pretty much it so yeah thanks for watching the video again and goodbye again for a second time see you